Good morning, everybody. This is Cindy at Cindy's Place, and I just came out to check my herb garden. This is my echinacea, which there all these plants are perennial, and I am just so stoked because they all came up, and they're going gangbusters this year. And this is my yarrow, and it's getting blooms on the top and I noticed that some of the flowers are purple little purple flowers and the ones on this side are white so I'm going to get different colors which is really interesting um, I didn't know they came in different colors but look at this yarrow it is really going crazy I am so excited <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> this is my spearmint. And it started out with just a tiny little plant last spring or last fall when I planted it. And it came back. It's spreading like crazy. That's why you should always keep mints contained because they will go everywhere. But um, I want a good bunch of spearmint and it's really working out well. And this is my oregano. It's getting tall, so I can start harvesting that really soon. So excited. Look here. This started out as one little teeny tiny plant last fall. And now it's like that tire's almost full. And uh, this is chamomile. And I'm going to harvest all these little flowers all during the summer. And I will have chamomile tea. And I can see the bees have already discovered the flowers. That's kind of cool. This is my lemon balm. And it's really looking good for this year. And this is my spearmint. Always good for iced tea. And these two right here are chicory. And this is what I'm going to be using for my chicory coffee. Um, you harvest the roots and use the roots to um, roast and grind and make into a coffee, which is what I drink quite often rather than regular coffee because caffeine doesn't like me for some reason now. Uh, but these look like they're getting ready to maybe flower, I think. I'm fairly new at growing chicory, so we'll see what happens. But this plant is going crazy. Look how big it is. And the stalks are so thick. I didn't realize the stalks were so thick on chicory. Hello, my friends. How are you guys doing? What I want to talk to you today about is uh, some people are concerned about planting their vegetables and herbs and things in tires. Are tires in the garden a menace to your health or a responsibility and eco-friendly solution to a real pollution problem? That depends entirely on who you ask. Tire garden planting is a hotly debated topic with both sides making passionate and convincing arguments. Since there doesn't seem to be a hard and fast official stance, I just would like to lay out the facts as I have researched them. It all comes down to a simple question. Are tires toxic? And basically the answer is yes. Tires contain a host of chemicals and metals that should not be in the human body. They do gradually erode and break down. It's because of these pollution concerns that it's hard to dispose of old tires legally. The other side of the argument is that since it's so hard to dispose of old tires legally, um, the things are building up and causing a real waste problem. 
you would think that any opportunity to put them to use would be worth it. Like using them to grow food. After all, it's a common practice in many places, and I've seen this many times on YouTube channels, that they grow potatoes in tires. A tires degrading process takes uh, such a lengthy time frame. There's a certain amount of off-gassing in the first year or so of the tire's life. The source of that new tire smell that you smell is the gases and the oils releasing in the tires. But that mostly occurs while the tire is on the vehicle and not near your plants. By the time it reaches your garden, the tire is breaking down very slowly, more on a scale of decades. And the amount of chemicals that end up in your food is negligible. There is, however, a certain amount of leaching happening at all times. Those levels are not particularly known as yet. In the end, most sources agree that growing veggies or herbs in tires is probably fine. Bottom line, it's basically up to you. There's no hard scientific proof that growing food in old tires is harmful. So basically it's what you think, what you're comfortable with. Personally, I'm fine with the tires. Um, the research that I've done, done on them is that there is no significance harm to anything. Uh, it, it's not even measurable. So if something's not even measurable, I'm not going to worry about it. And I got my information from several sites that I googled and the Office for Science and Society. So if you want to go check those, check any sites out, check the Office for Science and Society. They have some really good articles. Um, if you want to start growing in tires, that's up to you. I'm going to continue growing in tires because I have found no evidence anywhere that it is harmful to your health. So I just wanted to discuss that with you today. I know it's been a question with some people and um, you know, basically it's what you choose to do, whether you want to take the chance or not. I don't see the risk, so I'm using the tires. So that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to address this issue. It's been brought up several times. So this is what I found out during my research. So you guys have a great day and thank you for listening and uh, God bless you all.